Hey everyone, welcome to home school and today I am with the diagram session like we are with the series of scoring 60 marks out of 80. I have already covered important questions from chemistry part, bio part as well as physics part. As I promised in the biology video, today I am going to show you how to draw these diagrams easily in your examination. Not only a drawing a diagram, uh, I'll be telling you the importance of every part that is there in a diagram because diagram based questions can also be asked in the board examination for one mark or two mark. So this session really helps you to score uh, more marks in your board examination. So do watch the video till the end and get 100% benefit out of it. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, the very important diagrams from the chapter life processes. See, from the chapter life process, at least one diagram is compulsorily be asked either for three marks or four mark. Say this year respiration is deleted as well as nutrition is deleted. So you will have to uh, know how to draw from transportation as well as excretion part. Say we have only two diagrams all together from uh, two parts that is from transportation and excretion as well. Say first one is drawing human heart and later drawing the structure of nephron, isn't it? So first we will see how to draw a diagram of human art, right? This is really very important diagram and I'll show you how to draw it very, very easily. So just initially I'll start with uh, something like this. Say you have to take this particular shape. I mean, don't draw it straight, just little cross, clear? And after that, uh, you know, this one like this, okay? And uh, you, you move it. And as you move it at the center, your thickness must increase. Okay, see, you're moving it like this. Here, little thin. So here it has to be thinner. And as you come at the center, it should be thicker. So similarly, just do it this way. And here also, uh, move it uh, this line at the center. And as you move at the center, it has to be thicker, right? So this has to be the shape of your heart. Clear everyone? And later from the center, you have to do a line something like this. Clear? And at the center, it has to be thicker. As you move upper and upper, you know, it has to become thinner. Clear? So this much is, uh, I think it's clear for you. Fine. And now what you have to do is, uh, say exactly here, say this, this cone-like structure has ended here, no? So from here, I'm starting uh, a structure, something like this, okay? So a structure, something like this. One more line. This much is over, fine. And after that, and here, I will take a structure, something like this, fine. And after this much, what I, I would do is, I'll start drawing a water first, right? See, avota, I'm selecting a pink chalk piece. Uh, say you just have to do like this, right? Like this. And this is how. And this one, this particular line, you know, that has to be come till here. Clear? Fine. And now what I do is these things I'll erase. Avota, right? This is actually your avota. Right? Very simple. Don't make it too much complicated. Say, just do it uh, as I show it on a board. Definitely, you will get a mark. Right? And if you are doing exactly according to your textbook, it is well and good. Say, I am showing this for the people who are finding very, very difficult with the diagram. At least if you can do something like this, you get a full mark. Right? You have a chance of getting full mark. Okay. So, this much is clear, right? Okay, so this is actually our avota. And now I will try to draw vena cava. See uh, how I draw the vena cava. From here I am taking a shape. See with blue chalk piece I am drawing a vena cava. See I have taken a shape like this and this something like this. Okay, see and now what I do is I erase these lines. So you can erase these lines. So this is actually our vena cava. 
right fine and now uh, you know uh, from here right from here from here i will take a shape something like this and i'll do it okay fine this is a uh, vina keva and this is another vina keva superior vina keva inferior vina keva isn't it okay so uh, this part is over and let me come to this part so what i do it here is i'd be erasing this and i would do something like this okay i i am actually showing the pulmonary vein guys so this is our pulmonary vein that's it right and this is you know pulmonary artery right like this you just have to do something like this over so this is your heart clear and one more thing uh, actually few lines show it like this it's like you are showing some valves here okay like this that's it that's it so this this completes your heart if you want to shade these things you can shade it or if you want to leave as such you can leave it as such also not a issue uh, just i am shading this and you see the heart uh, you know as you come at the bottom the thickness must increase you have to show that thickness clear so i'm just showing this fine over so drawing heart is over now i'm trying to label it for you say this is what this is our pulmonary vein this is pulmonary vein okay and the uh, through pulmonary vein blood actually enters into the heart isn't it so blood enters into where it will enter into left atrium isn't it so from left atrium it will enter and through aorta it will go outside and it will get distributed throughout the body parts isn't it so this is your pulmonary vein from pulmonary vein it is entering where guys it is entering to left atrium from left atrium to bottom chamber is called as left ventricle this is our left ventricle clear so from left ventricle this oxygenated blood is moving where it is what our aorta this is aorta very very important part of human heart is aorta because through aorta oxygenated blood is circulated throughout the body okay fine and this part is over now let me label this part okay and you know this one uh, this is what we call vena cava right so superior vena cava inferior vena cava okay you can just write it as vena cava that's it vena cava say from vena cava what happens the impure blood enters into you into your heart and it will go to uh, you know the right atrium right it will go to the right atrium from right atrium to right ventricle right and then from right ventricle to the blood will move into pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery the blood will go out uh, and it will reach the lungs isn't it so this is your vena cava from vena cava the blood does enter to uh, which part of the heart this is what we call you know the right atrium right atrium and this is right ventricle ventricle right and from right ventricle see blood is moving into uh, you know which one pulmonary artery so this is your pulmonary artery right so these are some of the important very very important parts of human heart clear and here you must know uh, the importance of every part importance can also be asked so pulmonary vein is bringing oxygenated blood and pulmonary artery uh, is taking deoxygenated blood to the lungs okay and who is bringing deoxygenated blood from body parts to the heart vena cava is bringing 
right so from vena cava the blood this is also vena cava this is also vena cava the blood enters into right atrium and then right ventricle from right ventricle it is going uh, to pulmonary artery clear and see aorta aorta is taking oxygenated blood to all body parts clear so this is uh, the diagram of human heart and the labels and the importance of different parts of human heart clear i hope you understood how to draw a human heart and how to label it so it's very simple if you can draw this way no need to panic clear and now i will move to uh, another uh, diagram called the structure of nephron say uh, if you draw according to the textbook uh, it's very good but if you cannot draw if you find the textbook diagram very very difficult for you then you can follow this pattern like i have uh, showing you now say just draw one c shape right and that one again something like this okay so this is your c shaped structure and inside this uh you know some curves you try to show and this is one line uh, uh, uh to the curve and this is another line right and uh, you just rub a little part of it and you just show curve uh, structures and something like this right and one curve let it be bigger one one curve let it be bigger one and later again a curve uh, type of structures right and after this you know a long pipe clear this is a long pipe collecting duct actually that's it this is uh, you know the diagram of the nephron and now let me label the parts and you know this part is called renal artery renal artery and this is renal vein renal vein you know uh, the way i draw the diagrams on a board may not be uh, so much perfect i mean it is not that very neat but in your book you can draw it neatly right fine uh, and this curve things i mean uh, inside this c shape whatever these uh pipes are there no actually they are the blood capillaries very small blood capillary capillaries which is a very very important part of a nephron which we call it as glomerulus glomerulus okay and this c shaped structure is there no this is called baumann's capsule baumann's capsule and this snaky snaky curved structures are there no this is tubular part just you can mention it as tubular part again you have actually this is called proximal convoluted tubule this is distant convoluted tubule and this is henle's loop but all together you can call it as tubular part of nephron clear and this is our collecting tube collecting duct or tube anything clear so these are the different uh, parts of uh, nephron and now let us see what is the function of each part and renal artery is the one which is actually bringing blood to the nephron you know what is the work of nephron it will help in the filtration of blood it will help in the purification of blood isn't it so all that impure blood uh, uh, what are the impurities that can be present in a blood nitrogenous waste so mainly nitrogenous waste uh that is present in the blood is removed by nephron so that blood containing nitrogenous waste enter into uh, glomerulus there what happens all nitrogenous waste is removed and uh, the pure blood will go back uh, through renal vein so whatever nitrogenous waste is there no that's a transparent liquid collected in this uh, uh, you know baumann's capsule this c shaped structure from this c shaped structure 
that filtrate containing nitrogenous waste will move to this tubular part. In this tubular part, what happens is if any other nutrients like glucose, uh, amino acids are present in a filtrate, they get absorbed in the tubular part. Okay, and then the finally the nitrogenous waste will get collected through collecting tube. Right. So, what is the work of glomerulus? That is the main filtrating unit here. It is a group of small blood capillary capillaries that helps in the purification of blood. Clear? And Bauman's capsule is just a disc-shaped structure which can collect the filtrate. I mean, that's called urine now. So, urine is collected in the Bauman's capsule and later it will move towards the tubular part and through the tubular part, it will go to the collecting tube, right? So, in the tubular part, whatever amino acids, glucose is present, that is reabsorbed. Clear? So, these are the different uh, uh, parts function that you have to concentrate uh, for nephron clear so these are the two important diagrams from life processes one is human heart the other one is nephron so compulsorily one diagram can be asked from these two clear and now we will go for the diagrams of control and coordination chapter see the first important structure in a chapter is structure of neuron See, many of you will get confused between the words nephron and neuron. Nephron is structural and functional unit of kidneys, okay, uh, which I have shown it uh, previously. And neuron is functional unit of nervous system, clear? So, both structures are very much different, so you should not get confused. See, what you have to do is... You can just draw some C-shaped structures initially, something like this. And uh, one structure, one C, make it a long tube. Another C, make it a long tube. And, uh, you know, end, end something like this. Okay, so this is how you have to end this. And now, these... Uh, C-shaped structures are there, no? show a hair-like or thread-like structures, something like this. So, what are these? These are our dendrites, clear? So, these are some hair-like structures. You should make it or finger-like structure, you can call them as, however it is, something like this, clear? Over. And centrally, a nucleus. And now, uh, and on a long elongated tube, something like this, okay? This is actually called as myelin sheath. This is a myelin sheath. That's it. So, this is our structure of neuron. Very, very simple. Clear? And now, let me try to label the parts. So, these uh, finger-like or hair-like structures are called as dendrites. Clear? And th this whole thing, the nucleus and the whole thing is actually called cell body. Cell body or I can say this thing is called as cell body. And this whole long elongated tube-like structure is axon. And this one is nerve endings. Nerve ending. Clear? That's it. Very simple. So, you must know what do you mean by dendrite, cell body and axon. These are the three important parts of neuron. So, dendrites are the one which actually uh, takes the information uh, out of stimulus. Clear? And that information is passed through axon and later to the nerve ending. So, this how electric impulse gets passed in the neuron. Clear? So, structure is very very simple. And you can draw it neatly along with the labeling. Fine. And now very, very important diagram. One more diagram if it is asked. It can be asked for four marks. And that is a diagram of human brain. Human brain. Okay. So this also I will show it in a much simple way. Uh, first, you see I am drawing one curve like this. And I will draw another curve like this. Okay, and this curve, I'll join with this smaller curve like this. 
and this curve also I'll join with the smaller curve like that clear and after that here let me show one structure something like this okay like this just put it this way fine and now here in the same shape take one curve and do it like this and after that you know this one I'm um, some curves some turns I'm taking here okay this is the first turn this is the second turn third turn I'm just doing it this way clear and similarly take few turns this side also this side also and do it this way over major structure is over you had got some shape here clear fine and now inside just in a same shape in a similar shape some structure must come and it should end something like this clear over and now what you have to do is uh, you know in this you have to fill the gray matter in this say it's very simple to fill just some c shaped structures take it this way c shaped structures and then again in the opposite direction something like this okay and, and, and then something like this that's it right however the way you want however the way it doesn't have a perfect uh, shapes actually right say so this is what we have done and now here you know what here we have to draw some uh, tree shaped structure like this tree shaped structure and one more one more like this okay like this and then this is a put uh, shaded shade it or put these lines here clear and now show some branches like this something like this branches okay fine major part is over now we are giving coverings say actually uh, these are uh, these are i'm covering okay different coverings on a brain so uh, that one i'm drawing now which we call it as cranium. I'm drawing a cranium now. Okay. Something like this. Okay. Say this is your human brain. Now let me label the parts. And this covering is there. No. This covering we call it as cranium. Which is nothing but a skull. Okay. And this is very important part. Cerebrum. For brain. It's one of the important part of forebrain that is cerebrum. Clear? And now this part is there, no? This tree-like structure is called cerebellum. Very, very important part, cerebellum. Right? And after that, uh, coming to this part, this one. This is our midbrain. Midbrain. Labeling is also very, very important. And uh, this one is pituitary gland. And this bigger curve, I have shown it here, right? That is our pituitary uh, gland. Pituitary gland. Clear? And now coming here, this is pons. You can take it as a pons. And this is your medulla oblongata. Or you can just write it as medulla. So, these are the different important parts of human brain. Clear? And here each and every part, cerebrum, cerebellum, uh, medulla, every part's uh, function you must know that I have clearly explained in the biology video uh, that is target of scoring 60 marks out of 80. That video link I will provide in the description where you can check every part's function right so this is how easily you can draw human brain and label it parts so these are the two structures that can be asked from the chapter control and coordination and now i will move to the chapter how do organisms reproduce see guys the first diagram that you have to concentrate here is longitudinal section of flower clear and this is very easiest diagram you no need to struggle too much where uh, showing its parts is also as important as drawing the diagram. Uh, so how do you draw it? Okay, let me start from 
style onwards see i'll just take one elongated tube and then i'll make around here clear and uh, this one is something like this and now and this is a stack whereas these are uh, actually the sepals okay fine next would be uh, let me draw the stamens now so stamens are something like this okay and on a stamen you will have anthers so called anthers right uh, this is one anther and this would be another anther so another stamen with anther okay and the two stamens this side also so you draw it much more neatly i'm just showing you how to draw it easily but you have to draw little more neatly than me because it's you who is going to write the examination just i'm guiding you how you can draw all this easily right so after drawing uh, these many stamens you show the petals now so showing a petal how do you show the petal okay you can show however you want it's not a big issue this is one petal this is another petal and this is my third petal over so this is our longitudinal section of flower whereas i'll start labeling the parts now and this is our stigma and this elongated pipe like structure is a style and this one is ovary inside the ovary you will have egg isn't it so this is ovary right and these are stamens the male reproductive organs stamens and uh, these are sepals which actually protects the ovary and these colored uh, things are called as petals isn't it so that's it so this is your longitudinal section of flower right guys now let us see a diagram on germination of pollen on stigma pollen on stigma this is also very very important diagram for uh, sslc board examination so concentrate this it's also very simple guys so you just have to draw something like this and this is actually our stigma and you know this is our ovary isn't it so draw it much more neatly okay so this is our ovary fine and now something like this into this show it this way clear fine and after that show a structure of ovule so this is our ovule so inside the ovule here three dots you show i mean three small circles and here two and here three actually this is our female germ cell this is this one this one is our female germ cell clear so this how you have to draw the ovule and then uh, now the thing is you have to show the pollen grain extension fine so this is our pollen grain okay and now it's growing it's growing a long tube would come like this like this a long tube will come towards you know female germ cell clear yeah? so here male germ cell would be there inside a tube and that would be coming through the tube so here the tube has become little narrow but you have to draw much bigger okay let me show it this way little bigger one okay so this is our pollen tube clear so you have to draw much more neatly so uh, pollen from a pollen grain a long tube is growing towards our uh, you know female germ cell to reach 
you know male germ cell to reach our female germ cell clear so this is how you have to show now the label parts so important part is the pollen tube only so this is your pollen tube and this is your male germ cell male germ cell and here this is your female germ cell clear fine and now rest of the th story this is we call it as ovary right and this is style and this is stigma and this is pollen grape see yeah so these are the different parts of the diagram so what is the diagram germination of pollen on stigma or the, the growth of pollen tube that also can be a heading clear everyone so these are the two important diagrams from how do organisms reproduce clear so uh, so far i have shown you the six diagrams six diagrams are the most important diagrams guys so from these six diagrams at least two diagrams will definitely come either for three marks say one diagram for three marks or the other diagram for four marks clear or two marks plus four mark so all together 6 to 7 marks would be coming from these six diagrams alone so you have to be very very careful so now i will show few diagrams from chemistry part guys from acids bases and salts you have two diagrams under that the first important diagram is a uh, reaction of zinc granules with dilute acid uh, here it is dilute h2so4 and testing hydrogen gas and testing hydrogen gas very very important diagram can be asked for two marks so how do you draw a diagram here just start from the stand onwards okay so this is actually your stand right something like this fine and now uh, the stand has elongated uh, rod right so this is some elongated rod on a stand uh, where here we are fixing actually something like this show it like this and here becomes your test tube okay so you are holding a test tube so this is a test tube big test tube fine so something is holding a test tube here fine and test tube has fitted with a cork so this we call it as a cork and through the cork uh, there is a pipe isn't it so you have a pipe here and uh, this pipe this is what we call a delivery pipe isn't it so this pipe would move all along and it will go to a soap solution isn't it so this is our uh, so called a particular beaker uh, which is having a soap solution all over right and that delivery tube is into the soap solution okay so this is your major diagram outline of the diagram so in this test tube what you have this is your zinc granules so to zinc granules when you add uh, sulfuric acid what you would observe you would observe bubbles of hydrogen gas coming outside so these bubbles would enter into a delivery tube uh they will move all along to a delivery tube to soap solution right and here bubbles filled with hydrogen gas you will observe so these bubbles are filled with hydrogen gas say the moment you held a candle onto these bubbles you will observe fire isn't it so when do you observe fire when you uh, held with a candle so this is candle with flame so this is your fire burning high bubbles are getting burnt i mean hydrogen bubbles are getting burst isn't it 
so which is a delivery tube they'll ask you to label the delivery tube so this is your delivery tube and they'll ask you to label the hydrogen gas you know the these bubbles are filled with hydrogen gas and here also see these bubbles are also hydrogen gas so they are coming through delivery tube and the moment you pass it through soap solution so you would have bigger bubbles filled with hydrogen gas the moment you held with a uh, flame of a candle it burst with fire and, and you get a pop sound when it is bursting isn't it so this is all about uh, the diagram of showing i mean this diagram shows the reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and in the same chapter you have another diagram that is acid solution conducting electricity acid solution conducting electricity so how do you show that diagram it is also very simple you just have to uh, show one beaker so this is a, a, a kind of a beaker okay so in the beaker you have to fix a cork this is a cork and the cork will have two nails okay so this is one nail and this is another iron nail so these are actually the iron nails right so the nails are connected to a battery one nail is connected to a negative terminal and uh, you know the other nail is connected to a positive terminal right so this is a positive terminal in between you will have a bulb and this is switch right so this is your outline and you know till here uh, the beaker is filled with acid solution so this is till here you have acid dilute hcl solution right dilute hcl solution and these are iron nails and you know this is bulb and this is battery right so this is the diagram of acid solution conducting electricity so these are the two diagrams from the chapter acids bases and salts so now we will see a diagram from metals and non-metals chapter so among the three diagrams definitely one diagram is asked either for two marks or three marks clear fine so here is a diagram from metals and non-metals chapter that is action of steam on metal action of steam on metal okay so how do you start the diagram okay let us start the diagram by uh, putting a stand initially so this is our stand so just do it this way stand okay and then uh, a, a big rod on a stand right so this is our big rod fine and now uh, you have to draw one test tube something like this so test tube would be passing actually the stand is holding this particular test tube let me draw it uh, a little more neatly see i think you can draw more neatly than me so i'm just showing you the main concept of drawing it easily say this particular stand is actually holding this particular test tube okay and now our test tube has the cotton wool okay cotton wool soaked in water right so this is cotton wool soaked in water and here you actually have a metal piece metal right and this cotton wool is actually heated with the help of a flame that is uh, coming from bunsen burner this is called as a bunsen burner okay so something like this you will have a burner so this is a flame and the steam would come from this uh, uh, you know wet cotton wool and then that steam would pass through a metal so that uh, uh, you know what happens is a hydrogen gas is actually liberated and how do you get to know that the hydrogen gas is liberated so that for that we will fix a small pipe here so uh, there is a pipe 
okay so through the pipe actually that hydrogen gas is coming out and where is the pipe leading to pipe actually leads to a beaker that contains water right so beaker will again has a test tube inverted uh, test tube you will have and this inverted test tube is uh, held by actually one more stand so there will be another stand connected here okay so there is actually another stand that is holding this particular beaker okay let me show it a little longer another rod is there this is one more rod okay so this is your another stand that's it so this is your major one and you know this tube you have to show it and you are it is there here so through this hydrogen gas is going and these are hydrogen gas and this gas gets collected here so this is your hydrogen gas they'll ask you to label the hydrogen gas so this is here uh, your hydrogen gas gets uh, collected and you know all through this uh, uh, particular tube and the entire beaker you know what does this contain this contain water okay so water would be filled and there is a gap in a uh, test tube where hydrogen gas gets filled up clear so uh, here they'll ask you to label one thing that is hydrogen gas okay and this is a tube uh, and this is a metal and wet cotton wool clear a beaker of water so this is what the diagram for action of steam on metal uh, say basic thing i have shown you can draw much more neatly in your uh, exam clear so these are the three diagrams from chemistry and now let us uh, discuss about the physics part uh, diagrams see uh, diagrams in the physics part is nothing but the circuit diagrams say the first thing is uh, you know they'll ask you to show the resistors that are connected in series they'll ask you a circuit diagram that contains uh, resistors in series or they'll ask you resistors in parallel okay so these are the two important circuit diagrams you have to practice they are not so much difficult it's not that i have to show it on a board right say i'm just giving an information that you have to uh, look over those two circuit diagrams and apart that the apart from these circuit diagrams you have to know uh, magnetic field lines okay so if you have a bar magnet uh, say for example south pole and the north pole so magnetic field lines direction you have to show so how do you show that uh, say magnetic field lines always emerge from north to south isn't it say like this you can show two loops or how many ever loops you want don't forget to show the arrow mark properly arrow mark should uh, you have to show it from north pole to south pole and then these lines you know and they will go from south to north isn't it then arrow mark have to be shown like this so this is magnetic field lines uh, diagram okay properties of magnetic field is very important question apart from this uh, you know uh, they ask you motor electric motor and generator which is nothing but dynamo you know uh, the three mark question or four mark question can be asked on this they would ask you principle construction and working of electric motor or principle construction and working of electric generator so in that case the motor uh, schematic diagram and the generator schematic diagram you have to mention in the answer see the whole answer like how to write a principle how to draw a diagram working and the theory part everything was explained in uh, the video called target 60 uh, physics isn't it say so its link all i'll provide in the description you can go and check the detailed answer you will find uh, about these questions
clear that's all about the diagram part for the year 2021 see all together straight away 12 to 16 marks can be asked from diagrams only so you need to practice the diagrams neatly thoroughly and label the parts and try to understand the function of each and every part especially uh, the biology part uh, which uh, part has what function you know diagrammatic uh, based questions can also be asked so be careful with that say with this i complete my videos on target 60 that is how to score 60 easily out of 80 say that series i am completing hope this has given enough benefit for each and everyone share the videos with your friends also let everybody get benefit and uh, do subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in the easiest way and in a detailed way. Uh, all the best for your examinations. Good luck and thank you so much.